these great Red Sox fans have not seen a World Series clinching victory here at Fenway. There's not anybody in the stadium tonight who's ever seen it. Strike one on Carpenter. One ball, one strike. Check swing. He held up two and one. Great pitching by Lackey to Zawa, Workman. Big night at the plate for Victorino. That is Rip Foul. Two and two. Piece of Beltron in the on deck circle. Let's go down to Ken Rosenthal. Shane. Shane, this is the first Red Sox team to win a World Series at Fenway Park since 1918. How much did you guys talk about that, the idea of making history? You know what, honestly, with this team, man, we, we, you know, we focused all year long. Our goal from day one was to you know, be the best team that we could possibly be. Did we know we'd end up here? That was our goal. We worked hard every single day. Hey, we're world champs. I can't believe it. Shane, you've won a World Series, but we all know what happened here in April at the marathon. How much more meaningful is it to win this series in this park, in this city? Hey, all those that were affected in this tragedy, Boston Strong, thank you very much. That's all I got to say. 
Now, what about your bases loaded at bat, the first one? It seems like you have some magic with the bases loaded in the postseason. Hey, you know, it's just my parents always told me, take every moment, live every moment, love every moment. I just went up there and said, hey, I'm getting another moment. I missed two games. It's time to shine, do what you can. And I was able to get a, getting a good hitter's count. I was able to put a ball off the wall and enjoy every moment of it, Dan. Shane, congratulations. Now over to Aaron Andrews. Kenny, thanks so much. I'm here with John Lackey, who told me back in St. Louis, it's taken 11 years to get back here. And you also said you weren't going to put it in perspective until it's over. All right, it's over. What does this mean? We're going to have some fun tonight. It was awesome atmosphere here tonight. The guys on the team are so awesome. I'm really fired up to, to just be a part of this. And it's pretty cool. Take a minute. Listen to these fans. You've been through a lot here in Boston, John. How does that sound? Sounds pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> One more question we promised to let you go. We saw you fighting your manager. As always, you didn't want to come off the mound. What did you say to him as you took an exit? I probably can't say all that, but uh, I, I wanted to stay in there. I, I wanted to get that last out in that inning. Didn't work out. Taz came in, did a great job, and the rest of the guys in the bullpen shut it down. So, great team win for a great team. Great job by you. Enjoy this. Kenny, over to you. Thanks, Aaron. We're here with Johnny Gomes. Johnny, you just instructed me what to ask you. The team was 10-1 and one with you starting in the postseason. How did that happen? Well, I mean, there's a lot of saver metrics, and there's a lot of numbers and stuff, you know, the, the whole war stat, you know, but when we go to playoffs, you know, it's you want me to go to war with, you know, so... Uh, Man, I, I say I work inside a museum, but this is the loudest a museum's been in a long time. Now, Johnny, the other night you told me that if the Red Sox won the World Series at Fenway Park for the first time in 95 years, it would be one of the biggest wins in sports history. Why did you say that? Well, I'm a believer in uh, as soon as we went to Fort Myers, the movie's already been written. All we had to do was press play, and this is what happened. Now, the atmosphere in here tonight, the fans chanting, cheering all night long, on their feet. How would you describe it? Well, I think I'd screw it up if I uh, decide to describe it with words. I'm going to describe it with actions when this place is rocking and rolling. Johnny, congratulations. Right on. Joe, back to you. Well said by the starting left fielder here tonight. As Ken said, the Red Sox 10 and 1 when he gets a start in the outfield. And here's the final out on a strikeout. Fitting for Koji Uehara. Such a big part of the championship here with the Red Sox. The celebration is on at Fenway Park. David Ortiz, a likely MVP. The presence in that lineup. John Lester so good on the mound. The bullpen work. The timely hits. The defensive work. The job by guys like Pedroia and Stephen Drew. Pedroia's got his second. Ortiz has got his third. And so do these Red Sox fans over the last 10 years. We'll come back with a trophy presentation. On the other side of the break, Red Sox win the World